consumption, which translates to demand, is essentially what turns the economic wheel. But we're in uncertain times. When businesses and consumers are unsure of the future, consumption is cooling. So what does that bode for port operators like Westport's holdings? CEO Ruben Gunnelingham tells us how his business is riding the rough waves of volatility. One major problem is the strengthening US dollar and the plunging ringgit, although there are always two sides to every coin. Gunnelingham explains how the currencies correlate to his business. The, the one direct way is uh, we buy cranes in US dollars, so that's the one thing that affects our business. Um, so our crane purchasing will be more expensive as a result. Uh, but that's in a um, very long term because it only affects our depreciation, depreciation in the long run mm. as uh, is a capex item. Mm. Uh, more indirectly, of course, the fuel price is tagged to the US dollar as well. So, but the fuel price has been decreasing, so that, that effect is kind of kind of negates itself. With regards to the, um, I think competitiveness, I think we become a lot more competitive mm. compared to our neighbours. Mm. So with regards to support services here, despite a tariff increase, we're probably still even more competitive than we were before because I think our tariff increase is 15% and I think the currency has fallen by more than 15%. Everyone is very concerned about the slowing of China. Has that translated or hampered um, your side of the business? China doesn't slow down because it wants to slow down. China is slowing down because people are not buying from other countries. So we have to figure out which are the countries which are affecting China to begin with. So the countries that are affecting China mostly are the fact that you know Europe has never been growing for the last since the crisis and has never really grown at all, um, and that that's the one that never really helps. Um, however, it was always um, how you say compensated by the growth in Africa. Uh, what's happened this year is actually Africa instead of growing to compensate for Europe, actually is in decline itself. So Africa is actually the one pulling a lot of these things down. So African cargo uh, throughput volumes are actually down by over 20% on average. Just like Malaysia, Africa's economic lifeline is closely tied to the black gold. So the slump in crude oil prices is too depressing its demand levels. In view of global financial turmoil, Ghana Lingam says consumption is expected to taper. But in the long term, growth in throughput volume is still stacking higher. In the first quarter of this year, we achieved 17%. So if you take the second quarter, we achieved three. And currently for the first six months of the year, we're already averaging 10. July is about 5%. In general, what you expect over the long run after the lag effect is exports will increase more, but imports will decrease you know, as a result of the currency changes. Mm. Because our goods become cheaper and therefore more of it is in demand. Mm. And of course, foreign goods become more expensive and therefore less of it is in demand. Mm. So that's the, uh, the more indirect uh, effect that we have, but we have not seen that happening uh, immediately and it usually doesn't happen immediately, there usually is a lag effect. At this point in time, Ghana Lingam says uncertainty remains the devil. Being a business which is dependent on other businesses growing, uh, we want other businesses to feel confident and I think they will feel confident once they have, the, you know, once they understand how to strategize themselves. So if you know it's going to be stable at this level of currency or this level of fuel or this level of anything, you start making big decisions after that.